So welcome back to another video by DJ Mobile Auto Services. So customer complaint is they're having difficulty accelerating and they're losing power. And also the check light is on. So they want to know if I could check it out for them. Right, it's a 2014 Kia Sportage. So let's see what we can do. So this customer made an attempt to climb a hill with a vehicle and noticed that it was losing power and the check light came on. So they decided to abandon the ship and return home, right, in which they gave me a shout and all I had on me was my scan tool, right? So I'm just taking it for a test run to see exactly what they're experiencing. And I noticed the vehicle is not going past 60 kilometers, right? Um, from time to time, it will shoot up to like 100, but it's definitely losing power. So I want to pull over on this. Um, put the scan tool on and see what codes I'm getting and the check light is still on and we definitely have some issues with this vehicle right so I'm just looking for some sort of direction this vehicle has a diesel engine so it shouldn't be hard to diagnose right but there you go I'm seeing that I definitely have a red flag on the ECM side so I hope it's nothing that was there before that um you no know, they were driving around with but as I said, let me just run through the scan tool and see if that could um, get some kind of help and figure out exactly what's causing this um, vehicle to lose power. I believe he said that he went to another shop and they told him that they believe it's the um, turbo that's having the issue. But as I said, I can't put my head on a block and say that it is or not. So I'm going to just um, you know, do my due diligence and check. And you see I'm getting a P0098 code which is telling me that I have an intake temperature sensor to um, basically high voltage. So it's definitely a circuit issue that I'm getting, but do an uh, intake sensor cause a fault? Um, yes, it could, right? But let's look at the um, data pids and see exactly, you know, what information that we can use to, you know, grasp this. As you can see, I'm seeing minus 40 right here. So any temperature sensor that's saying minus 40, right um it definitely has an issue right um as i said man i'm not sure if that can hold back a vehicle but on diesel you know they need all the information that um to process exactly what is you know the ecm needs to put out and do so as i said man i'm trying to clear the code and see if it comes off but if it comes right back on well we definitely gotta figure out what the sensor is and you know rectify that problem I ran into similar problems like this on various diesel engines where you know whether it be a temperature sensor or even a pressure sensor that um basically not working and doing what's supposed to and causing the vehicle to go into limp mode right so this helps the engine don't over boost basically so it's protect itself right so i definitely feel a difference in the um, vehicle since i cleared the code and i believe i gotta go after the sensor right so let me just um see exactly what the scan tool is saying right you see i'm accelerating a little bit more past the 60 um, kilometers so it definitely feel like it's um performing like it's supposed to or at least better right so let me take a look at what the scan tool is saying so let's take it for another run and see if it make a difference with the code being clear right um as i said man i'm not sure exactly what was done to this vehicle right there's one of the spines um but you can tell i'm getting more power as i clear the code so it has something to do with that full code yeah it's kind of hard to watch the scan tool and also you know um, keep the eyes on the road but from first glance here i'm seeing that i'm at 43 degrees right and the rpm is definitely you know moving up and down so um, there's nothing wrong with the engine per se right but it definitely feel like you know the vehicle is not getting its true power right so um i definitely gotta take this back to the shop right they're going to discuss this with the client and see what they want me to do right so let's take this back to the shop i'm not sure why guys like to blame the turbo especially when there's a loss power on these diesel um engines and you gotta really do your checks before you just condemn the turbo right so let's do so and pull out the scan tool and see what's up all right, so we're getting a P0098, which is intake air temperature sensor 2 circuit high input, right? All right, um, let's check out the freeze frame, um, current. So it's telling me that it is current right now. Let's see the freeze frame and see what's happening. 
Alright, um, absolute throttle position at zero. I'm not driving. Engine is off. Massive flow is at 11 grams per second. Barometric pressure is at 100 kPa. Um, calculated load is 34. Voltage is 13.9. Um, engine RPM is 789. Fuel rate pressure at 30 kilopascal. Alright, and the key here is this one here, which is the intake air temperature you see how it's saying minus 40 so anytime you see minus 40 something is wrong right with this um intake air temperature or any other thermostat um sensors right so next thing is we gotta figure out where and who um where the iat is right so there are a few sensors around you have the pressure sensor the cam the regulator um this is the ECT. This most likely is a, I'm not sure what it is. What this is? I'll go into probably a mechanical pump. Um, this here is the AC. This is the map, right? And then we have let's put this to the side. This is the mass air flow, right? So what I want to do, right? Because I don't have a wiring diagram for this vehicle. I'm going to do the unplug test. So if I unplug it and I see that I'm getting a code for the intake air temperature or even like the mass and flow or something like that, then that's more sensor. So let's unplug. Alright, so right now this is a five pin. Most likely the IAT is in this. Alright, so let's read the four codes. Alright, now I'm getting IAT. Temperature sensor one input high. I'm getting the mass airflow, and I'm also getting IAT sensor two. So that was incorrect. <laughs> um, so this was like it would be a IAT, which would be a ground and a signal, or probably a 12 volt or 5 volt power supply to the mass airflow, a ground and a signal. So we know it's not here. Let's put this back in. All right, let's clear the code. Alright, so let's read the code again. Alright, so you see it's still on, right? So we know it's not this one. Alright, let's come to this sensor here. This three pin, most likely this is a map, which is um, the barometric sensor is in is tied into this. So if we unplug it, it's a three pin. I'm expecting to see the map and the barometric. So let's come out of there, let's read fourth code. So this saying the turbo charge boost circuit high and the uh, manifold barometric. So it's not in that also. Okay, I normally don't do this kind of work, but right now I'm looking for this sensor two and I'm not seeing it. All right, so let's clear that code and let's read it again. See, I'm still gaining, right? So let's think. Um, where uh, what else could give me that? This is what the temperature for the fuel. Nope, it's not this. What is this? I'm not sure what this is. I think so. I'm seeing it going underneath, but I'm not sure. All right, so I, may, I really may have to go after this. All right, so this low plugs. All right, cool. Um, what else? Is it on the pump? Is it on the EGR? Possible. All right, let me take this um, off and see if I see the intake sensor too. The first time I'm hearing about this. Or even this one right here. I'm not sure what this is. As I said, I normally don't do this unplug thing, but push come to shove. Sometimes this one in some direction. So unplug. Um, it looks like you're doing the, the pump. So let's read and see. Um, let's read and see. I'm not getting anything. Checking the diagrams was no help. So I basically Google, and one guy said he searched on the. Um, he was searching for it also, and he couldn't find it. And next guy say, "Oh, you gotta look on the intake somewhere on the intake." And basically, I removed this um, air duct from here. And basically, 
this is the IAT two sensor two, and look, the jack was broken, and it's not plugged in, and the cord is still there. So what we're gonna do next? We're gonna plug it back in. I gotta see if I can repair this somehow, or probably replace it. I'm gonna plug it back in. I'm not sure if it's the correct direction, but I hope it is. You still have the code, right? I'm gonna come out of there. I'm gonna clear the four code. I'm saying clear. Let's read it. Basically, no codes, right? Let's go straight back, straight out to the beginning, and let's this scan for codes again. And basically, what I was getting, this vehicle was not accelerating at all it was holding back and because of IAT sensor 2 so IAT sensor 1 is on the mass airflow and the sensor 2 is on the, the intercooler line right so you're gonna read no codes so we're gonna unplug it right you're gonna see me unplug it I wanna fix that and we're gonna scan for codes and if the code come back up that means that was the, the problem so there you go. Right, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment, all that good stuff. Yes, I could have went and got a wiring diagram. I tried to, I wasn't seeing it. Um, but sometimes it happens. Sometimes it's good to be lucky. So till next time. Right, so was unable to obtain a jack for this um sensor. I'll probably go hunting for one. If not for now, I'm just going to put a little silicone on the jack and I'm going to go back in and clear the code. All right? I believe that is a fix. Let's read again. Basically nothing. So, yeah, that is the reason why the vehicle was not, you know, getting the full RPM. Let's come out of there. Let's go back in again. Scan for codes. Remember that I keep getting the P0098 um, intake air temperature sensor too high and now I'm getting nothing. <laughs>